Hi, welcome to this episode of Guest Star. This is your ticket to the wonderful world of arts and entertainment as we bring to you some of the fantastic personalities in the field of arts and entertainment, both locally as well as nationally and internationally. My name is Rita Gregory. I'll be your host for this fantastic journey. Joining us today is a phenomenal performer that many of you are familiar with, a lot of you have seen on stage, even in television commercials and possibly some film work. I am so very proud and pleased to introduce to you this young man. His name is Kevin Brown. Something that you told me. Do my ears deceive me? Stayed in my head all night long. You wanted me to love you when you said softly reach out and touch me. My love is in your hands. Come on now, feel me. <laughs> What's up, Kevin baby? Brown. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, How are Kevin, you? I'm doing great. I'm so glad you were able to join us here for this episode of Guest Star. Hey, thank you for having me. The premiere show of yes. Guest Star, and we're kicking it off together? Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Oh, I'm loving this. Great, this so is am awesome. I, so am I. Yeah. So tell me and tell our audience, who is Kevin Brown? Wow, Kevin Brown is still evolving. You know, at age 64, I'm still learning who I am. Okay. You know, every day is a change. But if I had to give you an answer for sake of, of our viewing audience, yes. I'm a father of four, grandfather of nine. Oh I have uh, eight siblings. Um, I'm involved in the environmental field. I love community. I love Kev. Kev loves God. Um, Kev loves the arts. Kev loves his people. And, you know, I can't wait until the next chapter of what happens. I know I'll be 65 in August and I can start collecting some benefits. And I'm like, you know, it's a blessing to get there. But I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm here. Yes. You know, God start painting me, you know, and uh, hey, I'm loving it. Well, it looks great, Kevin. And many of you don't know, Kevin and I have had the opportunity to perform opposite one another in various projects from stage to even film. We did a film recently called Rehabilitation of the Hill, and it was about gentrification that's going on within the city of Pittsburgh. Yeah, but with a twist, though, right? Yes. Because the gentrified, the people who were gentrified in the neighborhood were not white people. Right. They were black people yes. who had money. You were, your character was from a, a very affluent family Correct. who was coming in and bringing in big business and taking over things. And a lot of people didn't like what was going on. But, you know, somehow or another, we've always been connected in terms of my stage and mm -hmm. theater mm -hmm. wife. Yes. Wow. For decades. I know. Right. You, you are such a talented, talented man. Oh, you are too. You're, you're like a, Woman. a triple threat. You sing, you even dance. There's a little salsa hey. movie here and there. Uh, and then no, my acting. kids laugh when I dance. Though. Oh, do they? Yeah, they laugh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh too. Tell me this. What's up? Talent in your family. Uh huh. Where did all this begin, and, and uh, are there others, some of your siblings, who are as talented as you? You know what, thank you for saying that. You know, it, it's always, um, it, it, it takes me back when people say you're talented. We all have gifts. Yes. But to answer your question, both my parents, my mother and my father both sang, okay? Oh, I did not. And um, my mom in church, my dad just around the, around the house. Yes. Uh, I've got a younger brother who sings exceptionally well. My sister, Pam, uh, God rest her soul, we just uh, buried her in July. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was a, a, a really good singer as well. Uh, you know, I guess we all had some idea that we could be like the Jacksons at some point, you know, doing all the Jackson 5 songs. Yeah. But my family also is related to Adam Wade. Um, you oh, know, the Pittsburgh's Adam Wade. Adam Wade. Yeah, yeah, you know, he is, you know, he gave Johnny Mathis a run for his money. So, uh, yeah, Adam's real cool. 
Oh my yeah. goodness. I don't know how I'm related to him though, even though I'm related to a bunch of Wades, but there's a couple factions, different groups of Wades in Pittsburgh. Yes. So I claim him. He claimed me too. So you, you were know. born and raised here in the Pittsburgh I'm area? I'm a burger with cheese, baby. Okay. Uh, born in the Hill District. Yes. Okay. And then at the age of 10, we moved out to the West End, out to an area called Chartier City. Okay. And uh, But then as an adult, I bought a house in the Hill District, some of the best real estate in the city. Is in the Hill District. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yes. A lot of people think it has a bad connotation, but it is changing. You know, there's a lot of different kind of folks moving into the Hill, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a great place to live. Right. Indeed. Now Kevin's working on a show right now, and, and want to give us some information about that show. The title oh yeah, of it? it's called Free the People, and people will think, and I thought. And this is a flashback to, you know, Black Power right. days. But actually, <laughs> without giving away too much, being a spoiler, Frida Peoples is a woman. That's her name, Frida Peoples. Yes. And it deals with the church life. A lot of people have a lot of church hurt. I had a lot of church hurt, too. I was raised in a Kojic church, but never really, truly felt comfortable in church. Okay. So I stopped going. And, and when people ask me what church do I go to, I tease and say I go to St. Mattress, okay. you know, Deacon Pillow, Sister Sheet. And we're going to explore that a little <laughs> bit more when we come back from this break. Yeah. More of Kevin Brown in a moment. <laughs> Introducing the Kimmy Cantrell Art Collection. Bold, artistic, fragmented art for your home or office. With freestanding sculptures, wall pieces, and still life collages, your room will come to life with these visible conversation pieces. From Sweden and Italy to Miami and Baltimore, the Kimmy Cantrell Collection has been the rave of many choice exhibits. Find the piece for you at KimArt.com. That's K-I-M Art.com. The beauty is in the imperfections with Kimmy Cantrell Art. Welcome back to Guest Star. Sitting here with Mr. Kevin Brown. Well, Kevin, let's talk a little bit more about Kevin Brown, the artist. So you didn't wake up one day and say, you know, I want to be an artist. Um, yes, I did. That's just how it did? happened. Okay. I woke up. I woke up like this. No, uh, I, 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 um, I, I started out singing in church of in all church. places. Okay. And I won a competition, won five dollars for singing. My maternal grandmother used to always have me sing. She used to spend a night with us yes. on weekends. Sing for me before I go to bed. Sing for me before I go to bed. She loved uh, Barbara Streisand. People, people who need people. Loved that song. Mm -hmm. We sing to her. She would always encourage me. One day, I'm up in a, uh, a supermarket, and I run into my music teacher from high school. She said, what you doing, kid? I said, I just moved back here from California. We got a group together called Jasmine. We were doing all the supper clubs, uh, Top of the Triangle. Wow. We, we sang at Dr. Starzl's birthday party. We were making some real good money. I'm singing down in West End. And Western Tavern, this young lady named Alva Jean Branson comes in and she oh, says, look here, I'm Alva. with an organization called New Horizon. We need some more people. How about coming in and doing some acting? I don't want to act. I just really wanted to sing. And that was my parlay into doing theater, wow. singing and being seen by uh, Alva Jean Branson. And then yes. Sala Udin gave me an extra little push okay. to, to do some acting. Okay. And, you know, I love the idea of telling our stories. That's the beautiful thing about acting. You know, in dating, people will say, oh, you're an actor. I can't trust you. <laughs> what? Acting is all about being sincere. Yes. Acting is all about bringing truth to a character. It's not being phony. Absolutely. As you as you know, in that one show you did where you played like 17 people, yes, I child. mean, and you gave each person a separate personality. I mean, that was phenomenal work for you. I mean, I was Thank like, you, Kevin. take my hat off. That was awesome. But that's what we do as performers. You've got to leave you behind, those of you interested in the field, mm. you leave you behind and you, you become that character on stage, on screen. Right. And Kevin does such a phenomenal job of, of doing that. It's almost like a spiritual thing. You ask that character to come in. Yes. You know, it can be a dangerous thing to be inhabited by somebody. You got the same body. It's almost like having a pitcher of Kool-Aid. 
a glass pitcher. Yes. It may be Tahitian treat, which is red. You might have lemon lime, which is green, but it's still the same picture. I don't want people to see me. I want them to see the character that I'm portraying. So you ask that person that to, to come in, you know, be me. I've had characters like in Troy doing uh, fences, as you know. Yes. Uh, Troy would call on me at four o'clock in the morning, get me up out of bed and start hitting those lines because it was so important to be him. OK. Yes. And so it, it's a spiritual thing. It, it is my it, this is my thing to do in terms of uh, spirituality. Um, the, the acting thing, that's it's a little chip in your head. You don't know how it got there. But you, it, it's hard to, to let it go. You've you know? mentioned, and then we were able to explore your journey, mm -hmm. um, how you approached, approached things, how you got your beginnings. For someone who is just starting out or someone who would like to begin the same kind of journey that you have traveled, what advice would you give to someone? Well, I, I would say to that individual, male or female, it's not about you promoting you, the individual, Kevin Brown or Rita Gregory. For, it, it has to be bigger than that. It's got to be about a, a purpose. My purpose is to tell our stories. You know, I just think that we, as a community of black people, there are so many things that we don't know about ourselves. There are so many unwritten pieces and documents out there yet for us to tell. But right now, we're able to do stories on stage or film mm -hmm. that will educate, will enlighten, and let that little dark-skinned girl or little dark-skinned dude know that you are so worthy. You are enough the way that you yeah. are, okay? And we didn't start as slaves, okay? You know, we became slaves in this country, but our history is much v bigger and more vast than what we know. And we yes. can do this by the stories that we tell on stage. Also, when you go to a movie, you're there, you watch it, you leave. You might buy popcorn or whatever. But when you're at the theater, that live word is in your face. That mm -hmm. show is different every night. People come out touched. And you know that, what I was trying to say earlier, it's my ministry. I'm touching people's hearts. And you know People will wait afterwards and say, hey, you just told my story. Right. That was my story. Mm -hmm. That was my mother I saw. That was my father. And so that is the real payoff, even though we do get paid not enough money to actually make a living doing this in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. But the payoff truly is for someone to see you in the supermarket and come up to you and say, you know what, brother, I appreciate what you just did. That, that role, that story, it, it lifted me. It made me feel a certain way. And that's... That's the payoff. Wonderful. That's the Wonderful. payoff, yeah. Kevin is one of many, many talented performers within our region. And it's wonderful to just explore the life of Mr. Kevin Brown. And I understand you have this new show that, that will be... Uh, performed here shortly. Right, we open up on the 31st of May, again, Free the Peoples, and it's gonna be at the Homewood Library. Okay. And again, it deals with the dysfunction in a Baptist church. Yes. And how do we rectify that? You know, my, my own personal thing is I think sometimes I'm getting trouble. Church has been the worst thing that happened to black folks. You know, yes. we got a church on every corner and I don't know why we can't collectively come together and um, make a difference. We wouldn't have as much drug abuse and all the, the poverty, people not being fed, yes. if the churches would come together and actually do something for right. the community. Well, thank you, Kevin. I so appreciate you coming and sharing this Time's time up. with me. Time oh, is up. But man. look for Mr. Kevin Brown, uh, especially in this upcoming show, Frida Peoples. Brought to you by the New Horizon Theater Company. It will be uh, performed on the stage at the Homewood Carnegie Library. Again, Kevin, thank you so much for sharing Sweetheart, thank your you so time much. with me. I greatly appreciate I it. I appreciate you as well. And I look forward to seeing future episodes of Guest Star. Right. Thank this you This is so wonderful. Great. All right. Great. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings to you too. Thank you. I'd like to thank our guest, Mr. Kevin Brown, who joined us for this episode of Guest Star. And I thank you, the viewing audience, for joining us on this intimate look behind the life, behind the scenes of Mr. Kevin Brown. I look forward to you joining us on the next episode of Guest Star. Are you a college student or young adult entering the workforce? Has anyone talked to you about how to manage your taxes successfully? The professional tax services of Jackson Gaines is here to help you. Go online today, visit jacksongaines.com and call or email to get your financial future off to a great start. Don't hesitate to contact Jackson Gaines about your taxes today. I'm sure glad I did. Jackson Gaines. Jackson Gaines. I get my taxes.